I first grabbed this wooden round from Home Depot. It measures at about 17 inches. And then I'm just going to be applying some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster all right on top, just painting both sides. I did end up adding just a little bit of water, just spray that over the chalk paint. This just helps it spread out more than it already does and it just makes the coverage so much better. So again, I just flipped it upside down once the top was dry and then just painted that side as well. And I did end up only doing one coat and then you wanna just allow that to completely dry. Once that was dry, now I'm going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. This is just a very light gray color and I'm just doing some dry brush strokes all throughout the board. So just put a very small amount of the paint on your paintbrush and then just go over it with super light brush strokes. And this just gives you this cute weathered look. Next, I made a stencil off of my Cricut machine. So first things first, I did not weed it ahead of time. So I placed my transfer tape on top of the entire cut out, just scraping it on, making sure that the vinyl is completely adhered to the transfer tape and then flipping it on its backside, scraping that to make sure that it is clinging onto that transfer tape and then just taking the backing completely off. Do this slowly to make sure that all the vinyl is sticking onto that transfer tape. And once I have the backing off of that vinyl, then I just flipped it upside down, found a good placement for it on my board, and then just placed it down and just smooth it out. Use your little scraper tool just to make sure there's no air bubbles or anything like that. And then I go ahead and just start taking off that transfer tape. So I did it this way because there are just so many details on this stencil. So I just thought this was gonna be so much easier. I didn't wanna mess anything up. There's some cursive on here. So I found that this was just so much easier. So once I had that vinyl put onto the board, then I started weeding out all of the details, the wording and all the designs. And the only mistake that I had was the Santa Claus that was originally on the original SVG design, but I ended up just doing something completely different for that and you'll see me fix that in just a little bit. So once I weeded everything out, I just covered up some areas with some blue painter's tape that I didn't want to get black paint on. And once I had that all secured, then using some black acrylic paint and then a Dollar Tree cut up sponge. Just dab your sponge in the paint, take off any excess, and then just go throughout the stencil with some light dabbing motions. And once that was fully covered, I went ahead and just pulled off that vinyl. It doesn't come off in one piece, so you wanna just kinda take your time with this, pull off what you can in big sections, and then just continue weeding out the rest of the smaller pieces. And also make sure that the black paint completely dries after this is all done. Now I'm just placing on the new Santa SVG cutout. Again, just applying some black paint and then let that dry and go ahead and pull off that vinyl. And then I found these handles from Home Depot. They were just like $1.28 or so. Found a good placement for these and then just used my drill to screw these right in. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I love that it's personalized as well. Can't wait for my nephews to see this. I think it's so cute. So you could place your milk cookies and the reindeer's carrots on there on Christmas Eve. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.